In this video, we'll be looking at how to find the volume of a pyramid and how to find the volume of a cone. So you may already know how to find the volume of a rectangular prism. So I'm going to assume you've already learned that the volume of a prism, any prism actually, not just the rectangular one, the volume of a prism is the base area times the height. So you may already know that. But what you may not know already, or maybe you do, is the fact that if I take my prism, I can create three congruent pyramids with that prism. And that's the case for any type of prism. So if you, it's kind of hard to see, but if you look at this prism here, you'll see that there is a yellow pyramid, a green pyramid, and a blue pyramid. They're all separated here. And that's, again, every single prism creates three congruent pyramids. So with that in mind, then the volume of a pyramid is actually quite simple. If you know that fact, it's actually just one third the volume of a prism. So one third times base times height. All right. Now with that in mind, let's go ahead and try an example. Okay. So here is a pyramid and we need to find the volume of this pyramid. And we know from what we just learned that the volume of a pyramid is always going to be equal to one-third the base area times the height. All right, so what do I do with this? Uh, well, my base is here. So the base area, so one-third the base area, which is 9.5 times 8, because that's a rectangle times the height and the height as we can see from our diagram is 9 centimeters so times that 9 centimeters and when we plug that all into the calculator we get that our volume here is 228 centimeters cube alright so that's how you find the volume of a pyramid Finding the volume of a cone is very similar, so I'm actually going to show that to you as well. Okay, so though it's a bit harder to visualize, a cone is actually a third of a cylinder, believe it or not. So we already know that the volume of a cylinder is or I hope we know, the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times h. And if you don't know, now you know. And the volume of the cone that is within it, um, with the same height and the same base area, is one-third pi r squared times h. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and try an example. All right, so as we just learned, the volume of a cone is equal to one-third pi r squared times height. So substituting our values in, it's a third pi and we know our radius here is 6.9 inches. So we go ahead and put 6.9 inches squared. Oops, that's supposed to be a six. I'm not sure what it is. 6.9 squared and our height as we can see here is 11. So we go ahead and put that there. And once we plug that all into the calculator, we should get that our volume for this cone is 548.4 inches squared. And that's how we find the volume of a cone.